Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. It's time for another Handgun Showdown where the viewers of this channel decide which manufacturer produces the better handguns. This time we've got Bursa versus Canik and I think this will be a good one on the budget side of things and big fans with both companies. But before we get into that, let's talk about the last Handgun Showdown where we matched up Beretta versus CZ. And CZ has yet to lose a handgun showdown. Was Beretta able to knock them off? Nope, CZ took it. I will mention that Beretta came closer than any other manufacturer in the handgun showdown series, but nobody has beaten CZ so far. Let me know what company you think will match up well with CZ. We've got a good one today. We've got Bursa versus Canix, so let's get to it. Let's start right here with the Bursa BP9CC. Very thin, lightweight, single stack, 9mm handgun with mags that hold 8 rounds. Loaded with 9 rounds, it's 23 ounces. It does have a 3.3 inch barrel ambidextrous magazine release. And I have to put the mag in to show the trigger. The trigger is what sells the gun. That's what a gun store owner once told me, and I believe it. You're looking at three and a half pound trigger pull right there with a very short reset. Check that out. It does have an accessory reel, and at the range, this gun has performed great for me since I've owned it probably three years now. It's been very nice. A lot of people call it their CCW gun, and with an MSRP of $302, it won't break the bank. The one Bursa that I am very fond of is right here, the TPR9. This is a full-size bottle. It does have an aluminum frame, a four and a quarter inch barrel, ambidextrous, thumb safety, decocker, slide stop on both sides, has an aluminum frame, and 17 round mags. A full pick rail right here. And the trigger on this is just as nice. Check this out. Very lightweight single action but check out this reset it is very short i've often compared this to a sig srt trigger and i think that matches up well and speaking of sig the sights are interchangeable with sig sour sights very nice handgun i've always enjoyed this and i think bursa hit it out of the park with this tpr9 they also make the tpr9 c same same thing just a little bit smaller but i've got the full size version and i love it here we have the Canic TP9 Elite Subcompact. Canic's smallest pistol is right here with the subcompact model. A 3.6 inch barrel, a full pick rail, magazines that carry 12 and another with 15 rounds. This one is optic ready as well. Raised bar loaded chamber indicator, striker fire indicator. Trigger that I'm measuring right at 4.5 pounds. Very nice trigger pull with a reset right there performs great at the range feels like a full-size pistol the magazine has a little lip on there gives full three finger contact and with that tungsten gray finish it sure does look nice but over here we have the canic tp9 sfx and this is a race gun with a 5.2 inch barrel and mags that carry 20 rounds this is a nice handgun 550 msrp full pick rail slide cuts in the forend fiber optic front sight it is optic ready striker fire indicator they give you so much in the case with canic pistols it's unbelievable both of these include holsters i'm measuring this trigger right at four pounds so we're looking at a very lightweight trigger pull with a short reset canic claims that you can Purchase this gun and take it right to your competition. It should perform great. It has performed great ever since I've owned it. Been a big fan of Canic pistols. I certainly enjoy these two. And this also has the tungsten gray finish. And these are priced well. Both models featured today are, I consider, budget friendly. And the Canics are no exception. So which manufacturer do you think produces the better handguns? Is it Bursa? Or is it Canic? Let me know. I'll add them up and report the results back with the next Handgun Showdown. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.